I've just opened up the list of RSVPs for this industry event that I'm speaking at. There are 77 people who are gonna be there. Oh my God. Hello everyone, long time no speak. I haven't vlogged in a little while. I've just been so busy. It feels a little bit like my life is spiraling out of control. I'll give you some of the headlines of what's happened in my life in the past month, just to catch you up. So the washing machine in the house broke, which meant that we couldn't do our laundry for two weeks without the washing machine filling up with water and us having to train the washing machine with a bucket. We accumulated a lot of laundry in the house in that time. And then the boiler broke in the house. So we had no hot water and no heating. And I ended up going to take showers at the office because that was the only place I could have a hot shower. We did have an engineer finally come out to fix the boiler but now it's broken again. Yesterday it cut out again so um yeah that that's still a work in progress. Then I had a bit of a rough time at work. I think it was a little bit of a hiccup in what has so far been a good experience in my first job. Everything seems to be back on track now but it definitely has given me a lesson in navigating office politics. To top all of this off, my bike got stolen a couple of weeks ago. I get really attached to my bikes. I genuinely feel really sad about it. It's not just the money that I've had to fork out to get a replacement. Bike thief, if you're watching, I strongly dislike you. But if you want to sell me my own bike back to me, I would pay you for it because I love my bike that much. Please return my bike to me. Anyway, finally got a new bike sorted today. This week is looking like a busy one, so I thought I'd pick up my vlogging camera. First thing on my to-do list though is to go to bed because I am getting up for a rowing outing at six tomorrow. I kept having dreams that I slept through my alarm, which is really not the most relaxing dreams to be having, but it is 5.30. I'm out of bed. I'm literally just gonna run and pull on some clothes and drive to the boathouse. Let's get this day started. Eight o'clock, outing is done. A little bit frozen right now. It's been drizzling with rain, but it was a really productive, good outing. We had a coach today and the river was quite empty which is a change for a morning it used to be mayhem when i clocks as a student in the mornings we are back in the car the next stop of the morning is sainsbury's on my way home because i need some baking supplies i need to bake some blueberry muffins this week on thursday morning we always have baked treats after our outings and i volunteered to bake something this week don't know why I volunteered because I don't bake. I literally don't have anything to bake with at home. I found a recipe. <laughs> I just need to go get some ingredients and a whisk and some muffin trays. So I'm gonna try to do that quickly because it's eight o'clock and I've got work today. <laughs> I need to get to the office. Okay, everyone, we have a muffin tray, we have muffin cases, we have everything you need to make some muffins. Yeah. <laughs> Ta-da, here is the new bike. What do we think, guys? The pink basket, I think, makes it. I need to rush off now, because I am running late this morning. A quick trip to Sainsbury's has set me behind. I don't want to have to work too late this evening. Let's go up to the office. <laughs> Just heading for my lunch. I'm gonna go buy a meal deal. At two o'clock, which is in about half an hour's time, I've got a call with an insurer. I'm actually really nervous now because my colleague who I do the call with, I normally take notes and they lead the call, but they just messaged me being like, do you wanna lead this call? And like, I don't know what my response can be to that. I can't be like, no, I'm too scared. So now I've got to have a go at leading the call and I'm really scared because, you know, it's a client, an insurer, but I'm just trying not to panic. Like, I know what I need to say. I don't need to overthink it. So I'm like, right, just go get your lunch. Take a deep breath. It's fine. I've got to learn to communicate with clients. That's like half of my job. I can't just take notes and calls forever and nod along when senior people talk. 
got the goods. Now we're back to the work area. I feel a little bit sick, so sick that I'm actually not that hungry, so I might have to eat after my pool. <laughs> I know I'm being dramatic, but it just scares me. I'm worried they're gonna look at me and be like, this girl knows nothing, like she's talking a load of nonsense. Oh, nerves. bike's still here haven't had a second bike stolen yet so way to go touch wood of course it's quite late i'm leaving fairly late and now i am questioning whether i should actually bake this evening i feel like i should just finish the report this evening and leave the baking until tomorrow when i get back from london because i'm going to a tutorial in london tomorrow don't know if i mentioned that anyway i'm gonna head home on the menu this evening we have a thai green curry ready meal from Sainsbury's which I bought this morning because I need something easy and I'm really glad I did that because I'm just I'm tired. I'm gonna do my usual thing of facetiming my parents while I eat my dinner. They love it when I call and give them an update. Also I realised I never gave you guys an update on my call that I was leading earlier with the insurer. It went okay. It went well. I feel like it wasn't too awkward either. Hint of awkwardness but not too much awkwardness. For like the first client call I've ever led, I will take it. It was also quite quick. I didn't have many questions for them. And I was much more relaxed afterwards and I could actually eat my food afterwards, so. The next thing I'm stressing about is on Thursday, I am doing a presentation at an industry event. I think there's gonna be at least 50 people there, probably more. And they're all from other companies, other people working in the insurance industry. I'm scared, what if they judge me? I don't know, this is this is the, the biggest talk presentation thing I'll have ever done. Yeah, I need to prep for that at some point. But for now, let's ring my parents. It's me! <laughs> I just got off the phone with my parents and I am now just getting on my laptop. Got my phone out and just catching up on messages that have happened throughout the day. When I'm in the office, I don't tend to look at my phone too much. It's one of the things I really like about the office. Like I really get in the working zone and don't touch my phone. Like my phone goes face down on the side of the desk and I don't touch it except for brief window at lunchtime. And even then I try to spend my lunch times chatting to colleagues rather than on my phone. But there's a few calls and social things that I wanna schedule so I've got my diary out. I've just opened up the list of RSVPs for this industry event that I'm speaking at. There are 77 people who are gonna be there. Oh my God. I, I slightly wanna cry. I'm genuinely so nervous. I've always found speaking in front of large groups of people quite nerve wracking. Even just in casual conversations, if I'm in a circle of like more than five people and they're all listening to me at once, I strongly dislike it. I get very self-conscious of what I am saying. I can see who's coming and all of these people's job titles have senior in them or manager in them. Head, deputy head. Oh God. On the train to London and I'm just reading through my notes for my presentation that I'm giving tomorrow morning just so I can feel a little bit more prepared than I do currently. The good thing is I have done this presentation before. I did the presentation internally at my company. So I have my notes already. I just did it a few months ago. So I need to remind myself of what I said and what the results of our analysis actually were. I made the train this morning with about 10 seconds to spare, maybe less. This is my one. It's down the stairs. Bit of a maze of a building where you have to go up one set of stairs, walk along a corridor, and down another set of stairs to get to your classroom. <laughs> Cambridge at the WeWork picking up my bike. I tried to have a little bit of a sleep on the train home to like catch up on sleep. 
I don't normally sleep on trains because I get scared of missing my stop, but um, desperate times, guys. I'm so tired and I've got to do some baking and some work this evening when I get home. But I just popped to M&S and got the nicest looking ready meals ever. Not badly priced as well. It was two for five pounds. So I picked up a couple of those because I just need something quick, easy to eat dinner this evening. Tutorial was good though. I actually focused the whole day. Tutorials are the days where I definitely put in the most study. Um, yeah, it's a little bit rainy outside. Priority is eat my dinner. The kitchen's empty at the moment, so looks like a good time to start whipping up some blueberry muffins. The baking supplies are out. Here is the recipe on the phone. Apparently, they are perfect for breakfast, which is exactly what I'm baking them for for my rowing crew. Let's get going. 275 grams of plain flour. Is it when I click unit? No. What? I'm presuming that on zero would make it zero. It does. It wasn't before. What are you doing? I put it in grams, but then I put it on. And I want it zero. It doesn't go to the... Oh! Okay. It's okay! <laughs> I might as well do a double batch. Hello. I've got so many blueberries. Okay, it's very Danish that, actually. Is it? Yeah, there's a Danish film movement about how you shouldn't change stuff. I'm gonna get that in a shot. We are on to the mixing stage now. My biggest fear is that I'm gonna get hair in the mixture. That'll be really embarrassing tomorrow morning as we found a hair in their muffin. So I'm just, just taking a step back. I've got my hair gripped back. But all is going well so far, I think. I've got all my muffin cases out in the muffin tray. And um, hopefully it's going to be a success. Hi vlog! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've just finished baking. It's 10.23, far later than I would have liked, but I don't bake often. I'm now just up at my desk. <sighs> I need to just draft an email to one of my colleagues with the stuff that's ready for them to review first thing tomorrow because I'm worried they're going to log on before me. And then also I really, really need to look through the presentation slides and I want to just time myself speaking it this evening. It should literally only be 10 minutes of me talking because our presentation section is 20 minutes long and it's split between me and my colleague. I am going to be so happy when all of this is done tomorrow afternoon. You are digging a bit. Okay. Um, it's not... Back in the car and about to drive home after my outing. It's really nice today because the sun is rising earlier so we actually have an outing in daylight. Saw the sunrise and my muffins were a hit. I was so nervous like I didn't try any of them beforehand so it was possible that they could have tasted really disgusting and I wouldn't have known but everyone who had one was like yeah these are really good. Some people had two or three so that proves that they were good because if you go back for seconds then you like them. So yeah get me on Great British Bake off right now next thing is to do <laughs> this presentation the thing i've been dreading the time has finally come for it i'm just gonna get home have a quick shower and make myself look presentable and smart and then just run it run it run it run it to remove the impact of the change in Auckland discount rate on our results we've made adjustments to the claim values provided to us we've assumed for PPOs, the Auckland equivalent PPO value discount rate to be 0.5%. This chart shows the Auckland adjusted PPO propensity on a raw and standardised basis. Did it. How did it go? How did it go? It was okay. It was a bit stressful at times. Basically, presenting was me and his like senior, senior, senior director at oh, the company. You didn't um, <laughs> no, I didn't put any makeup on. <laughs> I put some concealer on. I don't care. 
Next it doesn't matter. Um, they ask this question, they're like, oh, that's ask both working parties this question. Response, and then they go, oh, Paige, do you have anything to, do you have anything to add before we pass on to... It just made me laugh that they were asking for any input from me before going to senior, 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 senior director. Isn't it? They value you for 10 years. Yeah. Oh, peeps. Um, presentation went well, by the way. We've had a few emails and positive feedback from people being like, great presentation. I'm just really relieved that it's over with, but also really proud of myself for feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Also just had a quick catch up call with my colleague who I sent an email to at midnight last night. I did think they might question me on it, but I had to explain to them that I wasn't working solidly up until midnight last night. I just had a situation where I had to bake all evening after my tutorial and then log on to do some catch-up bits such as sending an email for the morning at midnight. They understood and by the way they were no stranger to having worked at midnight either. I've just been listening to the Encanto soundtrack which I am obsessed with. I'm gonna try to go to bed at like nine o'clock this evening and get a really solid night's sleep. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. It's been a bit of a day of errands so far. I did get up at 7 a.m. for a rowing outing and that was a very kind thing of me to do because it was cold outside today, it was pouring with rain. I'm not sure I'd go as far to say I enjoyed myself out on the river this morning, but I did it for the good of the crew and hopefully we'll do well when we race next week. I've just made myself some lunch tidied up a lot of the house downstairs in my room and I'm contemplating studying this afternoon. That's it for this week. Please like and subscribe, comment below the latest in your lives so we can have a little catch up in the comments and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye guys!